Hi, this video shows you how to create statistics within seconds in Interact. First of all, let's open a data file. There are some demos here. If you go to File Open, then we choose the multipurpose analysis demo. It takes a few seconds until it's generated because this is random data. The codes used in here are gestures, emotions, and some codes for uh, talk for person one and the person two. Now we should see the document coming up. Here it is. Let me unfold everything. Now we see we have a data group and 10 data sets. I can open and close the data sets just to show you that there is a lot of data in here. As I said, this is about statistics in seconds, so watch this. Just go to Analysis, Main Statistics. All the codes are selected already. Say OK. And here are the different data sets that we have in the document. Let me choose one of them. Say OK. Here is our timeline chart. I see all the codes. And now I can push this button here and I get a full report about all the codes and their statistical results. For example, person smile occurred 16 times with a duration of 186 seconds. The minimum smile was uh, three seconds long, the maximum smile 18 seconds. What I think is the most interesting is the percentage over time, which is 16.9% and also the latency says that only after 99 seconds the first smile occurred. We have some more values, but I want to show you something different here. Let me close that, close it as well. Go to statistics again, okay. Select all of them, okay. So now we see all the data sets in this timeline chart. If I go to statistics per data set again, I get this report. Now I see all the data for my first data set. Then if I go down, I see the data for the second data set and so on. You can short copy this data and go into Excel, for example, or any other program that understands copy and paste and you can paste in your data here. But I want to show you something different. If I go to this button here, I get the same values, but they come in this table. This table is much more easy to understand as I think we have the different tabs for our uh, statistical results. First top is the frequency, second is duration, the minimum, the maximum, percentages, the latency, and so on. What I like very much is this coloring, because the coloring shows me the hotspots of my values for a certain code or variable, however you will call that. Now, for example, gesture point happened for six point. Uh, 0.02 percent for uh, this trial here, session number five, and all the other ones were lower. Now you can turn on and off the coloring, and you hear uh, you see immediately the value of the coloring because within this um, data you don't see what's really happening. If you colorize them, you see where the hotspots are. A very interesting button is this one here, the summary button, because the summary now gives you, as it says, the summary over all the different uh, sessions. You get the minimum, the maximum, the mean, harmonic and geometric mean, and this doesn't make sense for percentage, but for example, for frequency, you would see the number of unspecific gestures in all sessions was 131 with the minimum of 7, maximum of 2 and a mean of 13 for example. You can also copy the data here 
go into an Excel and just paste the data in here and then you can proceed doing further analysis. However, I highly recommend that you stay in Intract doing further statistics because you will lose all those opportunities if you export this, this raw information into other programs. With an Intract, you can do much more like contingency analysis, latency analysis, sequence analysis, co-occurrence analysis, and you can do some kind of data mining. But this is something I want to show you in one of the other tutorials. For now, I hope this was interesting enough. Um, thank you and goodbye.